Toyota's Drive E four-cylinder engine instead of the 3.0-liter inline six-cylinder, while an Eisen eight-speed replaces the former six-speed automatic transmission. Whereas the turbocharged six-cylinder was rated at 345 horsepower at 5,250 rpm, the four is both supercharged and turbocharged and extracts 362 horsepower from a mere 2.0 liters of displacement. This engine is rated at 302 horsepower in the S60 and 316 horsepower in the XC90. Polestar's version has a bigger turbocharger, more aggressive valve timing, stronger connecting rods, a high capacity fuel pump, and a larger, freer flowing intake system fitted with a low restriction filter. Its bigger 3.0 inch exhaust system leads to twin tailpipes and there's a valve that opens under electronic control or when the driver chooses sport mode with the transmission lever. Compared with the car's former Polestar 6, the horsepower gain comes at higher RPM, 6000, and peak torque decreases to 347 lbft at 3100 RPM from 369 at 3000. Volvo claims 60 miles per hour should come up in 4.4 seconds. The carmaker claimed 4.7 for the previous version, but when we tested the 2015 Volvo S60 Polestar, we got to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Fuel consumption also is set to improve, although EPA ratings are not yet in. Over the road and during a half dozen laps of Paul Richard after the WTCC cars practiced on Friday, we found a new drivetrain an improvement to an already appealing car. Polestar reprograms the 8-speed for quicker shifts and to optimize gear selection to match the new power curve, and it mates well with the engine enhancements. Here's a secret trick, to engage a hidden Sport Plus mode in the transmission, pull the gear lever left into Sport, push it forward to the upshift position marked Plus, and hold it there while pulling back twice on the downshift dash paddle on the left side of the steering wheel. A green S light in the instrument panel blinks twice to indicate engagement. It's meant for occasional track use, but it's a fully automatic mode that keeps the engine spinning at 4000 RPM or above. That's also the RPM where the supercharger drive clutch disengages and the turbo can provide the boost. It's too extreme for road use, Polestar product VP Henrik Fries cautioned, but he may underestimate the enthusiasm of some performance segment buyers. Yank a paddle or move the lever to choose your own gear and sport and disengages, but on the track this mode shifted just about exactly where our ride-along racing drivers had instructed when we were lapping and doing our own shifting. The drivetrain transplant removes 44 pounds from the car's curb weight, Volvo claims, and the weight bias has shifted rearward so the front axle actually carries 53 fewer pounds. The front suspension spring rate is slightly lower, which also yields a little more ride compliance. Still, the Polestar springs are 80 to 90% stiffer than those on the base S60.